What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I just want to focus in on our report. Danny Heatley will be looking at a KHL contract for next season with uh, Moscow and St. Petersburg being the two best, uh, two leading options for him, supposedly. Um, and, you know, what's next for the former uh, 50 goal scorer? Hashtag 1507. 1506, too. People forget about that. Um, but, you know, you look at what he was when he came into the league out of Wisconsin uh, in Atlanta, then, you know, with Otto and a certain degree with San Jose, you know, it was just, you know, really, really phenomenal, phenomenal goal scorer. And then it just all dried up. Um, you know, last year was an unmitigated disaster in Anaheim, and then obviously got traded to Florida, ended up in the minors, both uh, stops. But, I mean, I look at it, you know, you look at the, uh, the start of last year, I was like, oh, him and Otto, him and Anaheim's a good fit. You know, he opened the preseason playing with uh, Getzloff and Perry, and then he got hurt and ended up only playing six games with the Anaheim Ducks all season, and then, you know, total of uh, 43 games in the AHL and put up 20 points. I mean, those are not numbers indicative of a 450 goal scorer, I might add. Uh, so, you know, the K is probably the best option for him at this point. Uh, you know, it's just, it's unfortunate, it's something you don't want to see, but you know, it's it's the reality of the situation at this point. I mean, he's 34 years old. He's not getting any younger, and uh, you know, it's it, it's father times undefeated. And you know, you can tell. I think he struggled with injuries the last couple of years. He did struggle with injuries. I don't think he did. It's same in effect. And you know, I don't know what kind of off ice condition he was in. You know, I know the meme of Danny Heatley kind of overshadowed the actual Danny Heatley um, in terms of productivity. But well, in terms of you know. Perception, I think, is probably the best product. Of it. Just throwing words out there. Um, you know, it, it is what it is. So, you know, again, uh, it's unfortunate. I really thought he was going to retire with 650, 700 goals, be a first ballot Hall of Famer, win a couple cups, and, uh, you know, we're in all that we could have seen the last of in the NHL. And uh, it's unfortunate, you know, 372 goals. I mean, if you told me he was going to retire with under 500, I said, freaking crazy. Um, but, I mean, he hasn't had 30 in a season since 2010. That's that's not good. And, I mean, there isn't even a 30-goal pace in there. And even the lockout, you only had 11 goals in 36 games. So, uh, again, this is the guy that twice had 50 goals. You know, had 41 goals as a 22-year-old rookie. Uh, or 22-year-old second-year player with the Thrashers. So, you know, he, it's also, you know, he played devil's advocate with the Snyder incident, but, you know, even after that, he had some phenomenal, phenomenal years in Ottawa, and uh, just uh, kind of fell by the, uh, the the wayside, if you will, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's all I can sort of the power play with CJ on the uh, reports. Danny Healy will be in the KHL next season. Stay tuned for episodes throughout the playoffs and beyond. Later, guys.